What is going on everybody, this is the Crow Batman, and today we're going to be playing a video game that, as a matter of fact, happens to be Fire Emblem 5, Thracia 776, Chapter 11, something that I didn't see again. I have failed to read this name twice now. So, first of all, this is an indoor chapter, which means I really want to bring Asbel. Second of all, I can't bring Asbel, he's fatigued. So we're gonna try out Safia. I don't actually have any light magic for her. So that's kind of annoying. We'll bring Halvin as well. Lithis is actually fatigued, which is lame. Alright, I'm actually going to mess with inventories before I do anything else, because I want to see how many uh, Master Seals I have. So, and also if I have any light magic, which I don't. I didn't think I did. I didn't remember seeing any, but it's worth checking. So I have two Master Seals. So I think I'm going to give one to Lithis for sure even if we can't use it in this chapter. And the other one can either go to Halvin or Orson. Maybe Orson, just because he's higher level. Let's see. I'm going to just, wow, this is, I'm really bad with these menus. Just gonna give these items up. I need to do a little bit of inventory management anyway. We don't really need all of these swords on Fergus. <laughs> it's a tad bit overkill, I believe. Let's get these bows off Dagdar. He definitely doesn't need a lockpick. I think I'm gonna have to bring Laura to this chapter, inevitably, because I need someone to steal stuff, and I don't want to spend an S drink when I have a perfectly good thief available to me. Let me just make sure inventories are all good. I might as well grab. Let's see, we're gonna take out. He can't use Meteor yet. That is A rank. Dang, he's nowhere close, but we can take out an Elfire. And the Thundertome, I suppose. No harm in that, right? Get him a little more weapon ranks. I don't know who I definitely want to promote. I do need to give Laura another lockpick if she's going to be coming with us today. Perfect. That's good, that's good. Okay, so. I think I'll give... I'm gonna let Orson level up one more time and then we'll promote him. I need to find more Master Seals at some point. I'm gonna check on- Oh, I also have the Shield Ring to use. Two more defense. I wanna give that to Lithis. <laughs> He's kinda- He's only bulky because of the Paragon Sword though. As soon as he promotes, I'm gonna take that away from him, so... Actually, we can go ahead and take that away from him. He doesn't need it right now. Who can use that? Nana, maybe? Perhaps Paragon could be helpful to her. But I can't see her ever not using the Earth Sword for combat. What with her three strength. Do I want Paragon that can use the sword? Like Fergus? He's already promoted, but can't hurt him, I guess. Well, this is an indoor chapter anyway, so. Hmm. Actually, I might just keep it on Lithis, because even after he promotes, I'm going to want levels on him to try to get more con. He's at 7. with it. He's got a 20% growth thanks to the hair scroll, so that works. I might just keep it on him. As for who I'm getting the shield ring to and who's promoting, I might give the shield ring to Asbel, just because I'm kind of giving him all of the things, and having him be even better kind of sounds really funny to me, like why not just dump everything good on Asbel, he's a good unit. We'll do that, we're gonna give him the shield ring. Funny because I actually can't deploy him in this chapter, but it's fine. So, let's check our deployment. We're definitely bringing Fergus and Orson and Dagdar, we get two more. I think Laura has to come. And we get one more unit to deploy, I'm thinking... Nana can still use staves. I think having another healer would be useful. I would really like to bring Lithis to this chapter, but I don't think I can. I think that's good. I might need to take some items off Leaf, though. Actually, the Torch Staff would be super useful. I'm gonna give that to Safia. What staves do I have? The Insorcel, which is plus seven magic. I'm gonna save that. It's Since magic and res are the same in this game, I'm gonna save this for like super buffing Asbel later on. Torch Staff will take. She doesn't really need anything else. How many S drinks do I have? So I have six stamina drinks. I gotta 
preserve those. Paragon manual I'm still saving for someone else later. I can use the torch on someone. Might as well give Leaf the torch, I suppose. We only get eight units this chapter, so not really many. But I like who we're bringing. Leaf, Nana, Dagdar, Fergus, Orson, Halvin, Laura, Safia. I think that's a good squad. Alright. So, I'm gonna go double check to make sure I'm not missing out on anything I really need to know. And then we'll go ahead and get this started. I'll be right back. Alright, so we are back. I changed up two things after what I've learned. I've decided to actually bring Lithis instead of Laura, being because the boss actually has two siege tomes that both one-shot Laura. Lithis does not get one-shotted, so I'm gonna burn one stamina drink here, because I need a thief that isn't gonna die in one hit. Because this map is small enough that siege weapons are actually a threat across the whole map. Uh, the only other change I made was I gave the torch staff to Nana, because I figured it's probably worth a little bit of weapon XP and she needs that a lot more than Safia who already has a rank so we're gonna yeah we're gonna have Nana do that other than that we're gonna go ahead and get this started let's see how this map goes chapter X balustrade 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 Bishopal <laughs> Bishop Otto, listen closely this attack is none other than the multi survivors of House Leinster they seem to be led by Leif, the rebel prince who caused a, sir, a stir when he escaped from the dungeons of Castle Manster. This has escalated beyond a mere border skirmish. I must ride for Belhalla at once and alert the Imperial Army's high command. Not to imply that this relieves you of your duties, of course. I still have orders for you and your men. Your platoon is to barricade itself inside this wing of the fortress and stall the rebels for as long as possible. Buy me time. But General, the enemy has already breached the fort's interior. My men and I cannot possibly withstand a prolonged siege. Nonsense. You still have one final means of defense. The... I finally get a chance to see this word for long enough to try to pronounce it. Balistrere? Balistrere. <laughs> That's definitely not how you say it. Balistrere. But how are we to fit those massive weapons in here, let alone fire the... Not ballista, you imbecile. Balistrere. <laughs> You see those narrow gaps built into the walls of the southern corridor? You think they're just for decoration? It was built like this that so defenders could stand safely behind the walls and fire projectiles to the gaps of invaders. The technical term for those gaps is balustrere. It's a big word that adults usually learned after they're able to read. <laughs> Camp over here roasting me. You want us to huddle behind those gaps in the walls and take pot shots at the invaders. You're asking us to die! No, I'm ordering you to kill the invaders before they kill you. There's a tremendous difference. Mind you, no part of my orders require you to die. In fact, if you die, you have only yourself to blame. I really hope this is the same as my Kemp voice from before. I'm pretty sure it is. Oh, and I'm not asking anything. You use that word, not I. These are orders. I un understand. If, if this is an order, I have no choice in the matter. That's the first smart thing you've said, Bishop. Take your own advice and follow my orders, otherwise you'll be keeping all wind company in the dungeon. Ah, uh, speaking of which, you mustn't forget to dispose of the prisoners. They'll only cause trouble if they manage to survive all of this. As you wish, General. Don't look so glum, Bishop. If you should happen to die here, you can rest knowing your death served a purpose. And there's Olwen on babysitting duty. You're an Imperial soldier. You low down, no good winch. All you do is go around spreading misery to other folk. And now you're here to kill us, ain't you? No, that's that's not why I'm here. I was arrested. What are you kids doing here? The soldiers were raiding our village. They took me and brought me here, even when I kicked and screamed. What's gonna happen to us? They're talking like they didn't already decide what to do with us. They're gonna sacrifice us to Loptus. They're gonna send us to Belhalla and kill every last one of us. I know, because my sister got taken there and she never came back. No, please don't take us away. I just want to go back home. I just want to go see Mama and Papa again. It can't be. Has the Empire really been conducting child hunts? I'd heard rumors, but I was never sure it was just... I was sure it was just rebel propaganda. I never even considered that it could be true. For the Empire to be doing something so heinous... This is inexcusable. 
I believed in the Empire. I trusted in House Frege. And this is what they've been doing all along? Please, ma'am, help us. Take us back home. Everything's going to be alright. You don't have to worry anymore, little one. They won't lay a finger on you ever again. On my honor, I'll protect each and every one of you, even if it costs me my life. Alright. So, we have... Olwyn is a green unit up here with a couple children that we need to help escape. If you do help the kids escape without dying, this time I believe you get any other scroll. And of course you can recruit Olwyn once you get up there. But first, let's just take a look at what we've got here. So we're going to come over here and use Nana and Torch Staff. Because what we've got here... Ooh, nice experience. She's level 10 now. Speed and luck. That's good. Yes. It's just a lot of mages and archers in between walls. I honestly really hate it. This is a really dumb... This is a really dumb... There is no other way to say this. You know that really annoying chapter in FE6 that has like two walls with a few archers in them? You get geese there, and you can get calf there too. Yeah, that's this, but worse. Or no, this is that, but worse, rather. I should phrase that correctly. But anyway, might as well get this started. I could actually attack with Safia if I had any light magic yet, but I don't. So instead, we're just gonna have Orson try to start killing these guys. I like his crit with the Poogie, but I don't like the counterattack he takes there. This guy's a lot better for him to deal with. I was really hoping he was going to crit. At least he didn't get hit by the Venom Bow. Oh, they have poison weapons too. Great. As if this wasn't annoying enough. Just what I wanted. I think Fergus has the Flame Sword. He can use that too. Let's see. I'll have Halvin hand axe this guy. Maybe he can kill him. I don't care if he does or doesn't, to be honest. I mean, if he does, it helps, I guess. Because then Fergus can take out one of the guys with the flame sword. And then I guess I'll use the light brand to kill another one with Leaf. Let's see, yeah, Fergus definitely kills this guy. At least this guy has a short bow instead of a venom bow. It was probably a safer way to approach this slower, but I kind of want to get up there to Olin quickly before she and the kids die. Fergus gets some strength, some magic, some skill, some speed. Dang, that was a good level. That was a really good level. As for Leaf, I can either rapier this guy and take two counterattacks, or I can try to kill with the light brand. Which I kind of like more. The problem is that it's going to use a lot of light brand uses. Hmm, maybe I won't do anything. Maybe I'll let Leaf win, or I could just attack this guy. On the off chance I get an adept kill, that saves us one guy to deal with. Oh, he has one hit against Leaf. Actually, I don't know if adept kills 13 minus 6, deals 7. Oh yeah, adept isn't even going to kill if he doesn't crit. I don't think the light brain can crit from range, actually. So I'm going to hope adept doesn't proc in that case. Yep, good. What's he going to get? Strength, skill, speed, defense? What are with these level ups? Alright. That's good for this turn. I don't know how close you have to get before the boss starts slamming you with ballistae, so... Well, that's disappointing. That's really disappointing. Halvin, you might need to get some luck and skill from this level, and I will never say that again. Strength, speed, build. Okay, that's a way better level than what the meme I said, so... Keep at it. Why can he not counter with the hand axe? That was really weird. Owen's gonna start taking hits already. I still don't understand why he didn't counter with the hand axe. That was really weird. Let's see, does Fergus kill these guys? He actually exactly kills them provided he hits. Or crits. <laughs> so the flame sword can crit from range, but the light brand can't? That's kinda weird. Fergus might just straight up deal with these guys. I don't like him killing them all. That guy couldn't. 
He didn't counter that guy either. This is really strange. Okay, yeah, you are very dead. <laughs> A level for Orson. I'm, I'm gonna hold off. I am gonna promote Orson, but not quite yet. I'd like to at least let him get a few more levels. There's no need to promote him yet. He's doing just fine as he is. Yeah, Fergus doesn't counter this guy. That's so weird. Am I missing something? So that's four light brand uses I'm not getting back. Oh <laughs> well. Technically, I can get them back with Hamurin, actually, but I'm kind of wanting to save Hamurin for staff uses. So I'd prefer to not use one weapon. It's already looking like I'm going to have to use one. That was a crit, actually. Lightbrand can crit. Maybe I'm just dumb. But it's looking like I'm going to have to use like, uh, Hamurin on Puggy at some point, so. And we got Fred. Or Alfred, sorry. Lady Owen, are you down here? Please say something. Alfred, you came back for me. I'm over here, and children have been locked up with me too. But Kemp still has men stationed here. Don't get careless. Cool. We get Alfred. He is a paladin, but he's distinctly without his horse because this is inside. But that's fine. He comes with the bolt sword. He's got the dire blunder. For uh, Owen, that's her personal tome. It's a brave tome with a whole lot of might, some crit on it. It's super heavy, but. Other than that, it's kind of broken. I don't want to use too much of a bolt sword, but it's kind of inevitable in this chapter. Can Lithis kill this guy? Because if he can, that would be really cool. Let's see, he deals 12 damage. Wait, 13 damage times 2. He actually does kill if he hits both times. If he doesn't, I guess we can always finish him off with a ranged attack. But I want to get Lithis to level 20 so we can go ahead and promote him. That would be very nice. Very nice indeed. Alright, who's getting this kill? Orson Halvin, I guess. No. The hand axe broke! That explains why he wasn't counterattacking. Did the flame sword also? Yep. Okay. I thought it was really weird that neither of them were counterattacking suddenly, but that explains it. Both of their weapons just happened to break. We got another flame sword though. We're good. As for these guys, one can get poogied. He's got a slightly higher crit rate on this guy, so I guess we'll kill this one. Nope. Oh well. 42. At least he dodged that, because that was going to be a huge 15 damage on him. Alright, so Halvin can no longer range attack, but I actually want this guy to attack with this. So, Halvin just move? I guess. Slightly higher hit rate on this archer, we'll kill this one. Are there any more Venom Bows? I should probably check. That's a short bow. Not that it matters much now, I can't really do anything about it at this point. Let's see, this guy's got a short bow, and this guy's got another Thunder. Uh, it works. Alright, so Fergus is the only one that needs any healing right now. I'll just get Nana up here in range. She still has the huge range from Torch. Alright, we can end this turn. The armor knights are just gonna randomly walk around for no reason. Sounds good. I actually don't- wow, Lithis is strangely bulky. Please don't be a Venom Bow. Please don't be a Venom Bow. Short bow, good. Is that level 20? Yep, there we go. Alright, we're promoting with this. Skill. Build! There we go! Alright. Hype. That's extremely hype. I wonder if this promotion gives me a new build. And Alfred looks like he just kills these guys? Not exactly. But it's very close. It's going to be hard starting to call him Alfred. I've known him as Fred for the whole half playthrough I've done of this game. I didn't actually have him for very long, so I have no right to be stuck on Fred. Wow, that was a crit. That didn't kill, oddly. Oh well. Rip Bolt Sword, I guess. 
Anything to save Olwen, I suppose. Yeah, Halvin's gonna take this. And not counter with his broken hand axe. Alright, cool. First things first. Get this man a promotion. Lithis has put in the work. Please get some con from this, because that would be really cool. I wonder where the build ring is in this game, or if there is one, because I would totally get that to Lithis, as dumb as that is. Here we go. Strength, magic, skill, defense. One more build! We got two more build this chapter. This man's getting strong. He can now steal... He could, well, he could steal short bows before. He can steal javelins. This is a really bad example of things Lithis can steal. Can't steal iron blades for sure. <laughs> yeah, can't can't steal that. All of you have iron blades. Why do you all have iron blades? All right. Well, bad examples aside. First things first. We'll let Nana heal Halvin here. Much better, much better. Now let's get this man equipped with his Iron Axe, so he can go up here and strike at this guy. Actually, they got Javelins. I want a Javelin. Do your thing, Alan. Can you capture with an Iron Axe? You don't double with an Iron Axe. But we can capture with the Brave Axe, I expect. Oh yeah. Provided I hit 280s. Darn it, Halton, I had to curse it. Well, oh well, we'll just kill this guy with Dagdar. I should probably give that hand axe to Halvin so he has a ranged attack. Dagdar can use bows, he doesn't need hand axes. Bows can actually hit things. Well, I'd rather the flame sword get used up than the Poogie slash Pooj, so I guess we'll let Flame Sword do the talking here. I forgot Fergus's damage, but I don't think I need to heal him. Yeah, he's fine. No magic enemies. He has enough defense to not care about these bows. Guess we'll get Leaf up here as well. And not Safia, because she'll get shot. Alright, Alfred, what you got? That's fine. Wow, dealing no damage to Lithis. This truly is the future. Why are you going for Halvin when you could be going for Lithis? Bulky Thieves. The Paragon Sword's plus 5 defense is really random, but also really appreciated. As pointless. Like, it's not pointless, but it is. Like, why is Paragon giving me more defense? I don't know why it's there. I don't know why it's like that. But I'm definitely not going to complain. Because that's super useful. I wonder how much build off it has, and if he can capture another javelin guy for me. Or a javelin guy. At all. Any variety. I don't like the varying levels of magic on these guys. Some survive the bolt sword. And then some just have zero magic. It's odd. Oh, you're going for Lithis? You fool! You deal one damage to him. Oh, another one going for Lithis. Okay, he actually doesn't have very much magic, so that makes more sense. But the man's about to get another level just from this. Oh, don't, Vulnerary. Don't be that guy. Alright. Step one of the grand plan is to grab the flame sword. No, we want him to keep the paragon sword. He can kill this guy. Or he can kill the next guy up. We're not going to bother with anything else. We're just going to capture this guy. Because it's not going to mess up this time. This time we're going to hit both 80s. Right, Halvin? Halvin, come on, my dude. Well, I got his axe rank up, at least. Lethus is going to come down here. I guess the leaf can kill. That's fine. It's annoying, but it's fine. A 
Leaf is getting no experience now. Which I guess is a good thing. Because he is over level. I guess Dagdar guess kills this guy. Easily. His no speed is actually really well compensated by Akost. Akost has been annoying several times, especially around Ballistae, but it's actually helped out. Oh great, there's one more guy up here, isn't there? Yep. Do I need to physic anybody? Let's see. There's physic. No, I don't think it's necessary. What we can do is put Nana here, equipped with the Earth Sword. And she should not die because she can just heal herself if she takes damage. Fred can actually capture these guys. And I'm tempted to do that, but I gotta save Owen first. 18 times 2. He does double no matter what. Hey, maybe he'll crit. Maybe he'll crit. Owen's not in immediate danger this turn, so it's fine risking this. I think. There we go. He did it. Well done, Alfred. That's a javelin for us. Okay, we managed to get one. I'm scared for when the boss is going to start bolting us. Or not bolting, whatever it's called in this game. Thunderstorm, I think is what it's called. And you know, he's also got a meteor. He only has siege weapons. And a physics staff, I think. I'll check him out as soon as I get close. I think I need to move Nana up one more square and I'll be able to see. Halvin takes a short bow, that's whatever. Lithis takes a bow, that's actually awesome. He takes no damage and gets 20 experience. Thank you, Paragon Sword. Very cool. Paragon Sword is so good, this should be in more games. Fergus ends this man's career. Perfect. I'm surprised nobody went for Nana. Nope, they're going for Fergus. Well, this is another level for him. Or not Fergus, for uh, Lithis. This is another level for him. Not even having to use the Paragon Sword. Just HP. Lame. It's really lame, actually. Oh, here we go. Here's Meteor. I really hope I don't get doubled by it now. Which, I don't think it's possible to get doubled by Meteor. I think you need a cost to do that. Or to be doubled by that. Thank you.